Revolution, yeah! Buckle up! Little Revolution! It's a little revolution, yeah! Buckle up! Tune in to the Little Revolution! Welcome to Little Revolution. We've already kickstarted. Uh, you know my boy Poncho. What's up, guys? Today we have a special guest. Her name is Tori Cole. Which camera am I looking at? Anyone, to anyone. Okay. That one is yours. That's you. That's me? Okay. That's all so wide as all of us yeah. together. Thanks. Thanks for having me. I'm pumped to yeah. be here. Comedian, yeah. podcast person also, but yes. her podcast is stupid. Very stupid. Really? You, that's what it's called. Oh, it's oh, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's called Tori's Stupid Podcast. Okay. I With two O's, you really went for the syllables. Then you you wanted people it's to spelled go regularly. stupid. It's spelled with one of the U. Oh, it is. Yeah. How come I always see it, and it's like stupid. Really? Do well, I we're have looking to at something you? different. No, there's. Okay, well we'll we'll fact check that later. Okay, well I guess. It's stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to our yes. little podcast. I love yeah. it. I love being here. Thank yeah. you. This is great. Awesome. Are, are you are you from out here? No, I'm from Maryland originally, okay. but I've been in New York for like eight years. Okay. But I come out here all the time. She so. does comedy. Mm. I do are stand up. You, how many have you done any while you've been? Have you, Not this trip, no. no. But I've been out here for stand up quite a few times. I thought that's what you're coming out of here for. No, I came out here, originally my friend works on a show and she invited me to a rap party and I was like, yeah, sure. Like I've been wanting to come out here. I come out here every few months anyways. And uh, and I just am so used to traveling. Like I toured a lot last year and this year it died down a little bit and I just kind of got used to being gone every weekend. And this sounds so lame, but I live above a bar in New York and it's so loud. So like I prefer to not be there on weekends because mm, I can't yeah. sleep. <laughs> so she invited me out and I just was like, I got airpoint or you know, points on my airline. So I was like, let's just go. So I came out here and then they ended up adding two episodes. So I, she didn't even have the rap party. But I was like, I don't really care. I just want to come hang anyways. You didn't so. even get to go to the rap party. No. Which show <laughs> is I'm it? Here. Can you talk about it? Uh, it's called All American. It's been around for like yeah, seven seasons. So I can talk about it. What, yeah, it's what's not it like on? The CW. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I'm a bad friend. I've, I haven't watched one episode. I so. watch trashy YouTube TV. YouTube TV. I like watching vloggers for Vlo some reason your favorite vlogger all the all the adults that go to disneyland like at times <laughs> and then you no know, it's the freakiest fucking thing it makes me feel good about myself you feel normal the, i feel normal because i'm like what is this like 50 year old guy by mm -hmm. himself like i'm at disneyland <laughs> i'm on dumbo and you're like okay this guy is how many hours oh, he's not even there with like do? his kids or anything? no no these are people that uh -huh. don't have kids and go, is or it, they do have kids, and there, there's ones that have kids that sometimes bring their kids, but most of the time they're like, no, I'm just by myself here at Disneyland. I and would, you watch this for hours? Or no, what? Okay, just okay. You check in coffee. on them, like, what's Bill up to? That's what I do, I check in on them <laughs> while I'm having coffee. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Is it on TikTok as well? You can just I don't have TikTok. <gasps> Whoa. Never signed up. That's uh, impressive. Yeah. I fell in during the pandemic, and it's I don't a have it hole. either. You I, never I was, did you sign up though at all? No, it was just not my thing. It wasn't I, my I thing either. I just like, I don't like it, but I just feel like I'm a slave to the game with stand up. I just want that one video to go viral, and then I'm like, oh, now I can have my own shows because I tour with someone. His name's Troy Bond, and he has like two point something million I, on TikTok, and it's annoying. And it's like, oh, that's TikTok, but then you go to shows, and there's 300 people there, and you're like, oh, they found you through the internet. You so want, there is a Go ahead, I didn't mean to. Well, just, I mean, it, you see these numbers online, you're like, whatever. And then you're like, oh, those are, bo those are bodies, and they're like actually very obsessed with you, and they come to shows, and they pay money, and they help you have a career. So I hate the numbers game, but then you see it, and you're like, oh, you're like mm. real people. You want that skateboarding down the hill drinking a cranberry juice video, huh? That had a time and a place. <laughs> I should but I'm have saying you, yes. you want that. I need that that's moment. What you, you want exactly. that moment. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You haven't had a joke like that's gone viral like I've, that on TikTok? Yeah, I have. Uh, it's, gotten, what is viral? Like, how many is that? I've got a joke that's like 3 million views. Holy um, shit. Is, thanks. It's my best. What's annoying is that it's my best joke. Let's and hear like, it. <laughs> is it a. Yeah, let's hear well, it. Well, okay, so during. <laughs> it's not going to. It doesn't translate as much in person, but. Why? Say it like we're an audience. Yeah, that, so like, now we're like, at your like you're show. trying to make us laugh. <laughs> okay, well. Okay. Welcome to the stage. Tori Cole. Yeah. Tori Cole. <laughs> Yay! Thanks for having me. Uh, yeah. So, okay. So during the pandemic, I moved home 
And uh, I was home for so long, I bought a car. I bought a Jeep Wrangler. Do you guys know the Jeep Wave? No. You don't know the Jeep Wave? Don't have Jeeps. Okay, well, it's just a three-finger wave you do to other Jeep Wrangler drivers to show that you don't have real hobbies either. What if you did this one to them? You could do that. That's that's your... The give shocker. me tags. Oh, we're doing I a Texas Shocker again? Cool. <laughs> we're doing a Texas I'll, Shocker. I'll add that as a new tag. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> The three, got, why is, <laughs> what is three why is it because you're supposed to have your fingers on the wheel so you're being safe so i think jeep wanted to like tag this wave but they didn't want to encourage people being like whoa like hands off the wheel so it's like you have your fingers okay. on the wheel but then you just go like this so it's these you've never three. seen that jeep wranglers everyone does so it this is three. also like the jedi thing though too like when they're like controlling you oh, yeah they're like this like and you, you know, big moving on you places star wars fuck no <laughs> i have no but i See, I don't know these things. Anyways, back okay, to the fucking Okay, so you got a Jeep Sorry. Wrangler. I got a Jeep Wrangler. It got me thinking, like, what if other car brands had a wave? Like, what would they do? Like, Subaru would be like... Yep, uh, totally. <laughs> Subaru would totally um, be... Exactly. I think they already do go. that. I think so. Uh, and then Prius. If, if, what about uh, Prius? I don't know what Prius would be. I guess it's kind of Asian. I don't want to do Asian. Anyways, uh... Wow. <laughs> what is Asian? <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 They're everyone. Like, <laughs> right off the tour bus, like on Hollywood and Highland. Like, did that. <laughs> uh, and, then the, and then I'm like, if German cars had a wave. Oh, wow. And then I'm like, I don't know what they would do. Oh. <laughs> you know what they would do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's a joke. That's like one of my like, funnier, like it just works every time. Like, especially the Subaru part. They're like, oh, my God, it's so funny. That's really good. That's, my, Sorry, that's a joke like that went it. like pretty viral. But um, yeah, I mean, I got other ones. You know what Cybertruck people well. will do? They'll just Why? show up at your house because they don't have control of their car. <laughs> Severed truck? No, Tesla people. Cyber Tesla. truck. Yeah, yeah Tesla. Oh, yes, no, the, the cyber new... truck yes. one was the one <laughs> the where the pedal, the yeah, pedal yeah. got stuck. I heard. The gas pedal oh, got God. stuck. My friend's so they just... neighborhood has one in it, and she was explaining that to me the other day. I was you, like, that's crazy. You know what? I heard that Tesla that if you don't make up a few monthly payments, the car just like turns off and turns back on and drives you to the dealership. No way. <laughs> Dude, really? Are you, is that a joke? Yeah, or? it's a joke. But that would be funny if it did that, oh though. That's why I don't want that. Down? Like, that's what if you were in an Uber? <laughs> And like it, that, that guy didn't make his payment. He just it just <laughs> drove you. Like, hey, where guys, are we going, dude? Well, dude, whoa! I gotta be somewhere. <laughs> no, but I have a, I have this theory that all electric cars, that's gonna happen. Oh, they're, it's all or, yeah. They're gonna be like, you know what? The four hundred five is too packed right now. <laughs> Let's let's yeah, shut down home. some cars and just keep cars home right now mm. and wait till the traffic dies down. Then you, you I don't can mind drive. that. I don't know. I was in Arizona for shows recently and they had a lot of self driving cars, like a lot of them. Yeah, it was crazy. But no, I picture if like the the, the self driving car is driving you back to the dealership, the driver's just like this. <laughs> 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 like that's just driving. <laughs> or, no, but what it is is like you're in now. You know how they have the dash cams and stuff, mm -hmm. and you're like you're on camera, and they're like, oh, Tori Cole's here. Well, Tori Cole has a, a late payment on some. Let's just bring her <laughs> to the office and go. Oh, you need to make a payment. We have you. I could it's use that for like, my bills, honestly. It's kind of like a mini arrest. <laughs> it's like it's like Tori payment or Tori Cole's got a late payment, but she's also got three mil million followers on TikTok. <laughs> Bring her in. <laughs> Let's make Wait, a video. And yeah. then like make me do jokes <laughs> yeah. as payment. Maybe in like a dystopian world in a few years, that'll be our lives. Yeah. Yeah. I can you see might that. have to. We want to laugh. That's what it's. Yo, it's $25, but just make us laugh for like yeah. 25 minutes. It translates. And we're good. If everyone just paid with their skill set. Yeah. It'd be a better world. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you think, <laughs> I, when we talked earlier, I thought you were way more pro. I thought you were coming out here. You were going to knock out a couple clubs. I was you, going to. I had some things lined up, and then they just fell through. So. Why? Just, like, lineups changed. A lot of my friends run shows out here, too, and, like, they'll have drop-ins and but stuff. But you know what, so. too, is, like, this month is kind of hectic with shows because of the Netflix is a, a joke thing, that too. That was busy so last, So it's probably yeah. hard to get into anywhere. Yeah, that I think that's wrapped up now, but. Next year, I definitely want to get in that festival. It looks so fun. I did one um, I did this one January. Too. That's where I met Rachel Wolfson. Oh, at the... At Sunshine Comedy Festival back in uh, February. Was she funny? She's funny, yeah. I love her just as a person, too. Was she funny, though? She was. I watched some of her sets. Yeah. She's okay. not going to say her friend's not funny like, on the show. <laughs> no, I do think she is really funny. All right. Just yeah. checking. What about you, Jason? Do you think she's funny? I've never seen well, her Well, you do stand-up as well, right? 
No, I just once in a while do drop in. You do? Oh, okay. I just Because I, me- I messaged you and I was like, oh, I didn't know you did stand up. You're like, I came out of the womb funny. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was your response. I was like, fair enough. Pretty funny. But stand up is a funny. different style. You have to have, like, you know, set up, joke, punch. You don't just get up there and you're like, wah. I mean, unless you do. <laughs> Weird. I think I feel like Jason's got a, a different style fan base too that they they're they're gonna support him no matter what. Yeah, what is now, your fan base? I dropped in and did stand up on the spot and they didn't know and fucking uh, killed. Yeah, me. but everyone knows you, like in a sense that yeah, I mean but, you are like that's a good thing. I'm yeah. not saying it's a you know, and they support like this dude, like what is your fan base like? Fun. Okay. Yeah, his yeah. fan base is really fun. I like that. That's yeah. a great fun. answer. All my my fans. They are love fun. him. Yeah. Because they're all from Jackass, I'm guessing. No, or, I have or... grandmas that love me. Yeah. Yeah. I got. Yeah. How'd they find you? Just <laughs> turn on that TV, or turn on you know. Wild Boys. Wild Boys. Oh right, for Jackass. Wild Boys. And what was I your mean, favorite? who doesn't like a dwarf dressed like in a safari outfit? That's, <laughs> true. that's fucking really amazing. <laughs> cosplay. Come on, dude. I, <laughs> cosplay. I'm not saying I funny. don't. I got it all. Yeah, well, I just want to make sure, like, how do these people find you? Like, old ladies don't typically watch Jackass. Unless if they're they at do. the retirement home and there's nothing else on and they see some good looking dudes. That's true. You know, it was getting a good beat looking up, squad. Getting beat up and, you know, make, having fun. Yeah, that's they're true. They're like, hmm, interesting. It's funny, I watched Jackass Forever, uh, and I just was worried about you guys getting hurt the whole time. Whereas before when I watched it growing up, I was like, this is hilarious. And then, I don't know if it was getting older, where I'm like, this is dangerous. I didn't think of that before. I was like, oh, obviously this is all going to go well, it's being filmed. Yeah. Yeah. I always just get worried (laughs) about my friend getting hurt. Right. I'm watching out for him. Everyone else I don't give a shit about. (laughs) Yeah, they could break their necks, I don't care. That must have been... This is my buddy right now, you know? Were like, you ever really worried about him doing that stuff? No, I, I, I used to hope he got hurt, but like, <laughs> but you know, it's crazy. <laughs> Met his wife. Well, first date with his now wife was at Jackass 3D. Really? Yeah. yeah. It was her at, birthday, and uh, I like was the premiere or no, not premiere, during the but filming during the uh, when it was in theaters. Got it. Got it. Like, okay. I'm going to see my bro, and in, in... and then you brought her. Well, it was her birthday, and um. I invited a bunch of people. I was on a Broadway show and no one would come with me. Mm-hmm. And she was the only one that, that that came with me. I'm like, all right, cool. And we went and I was like dry heaving the whole time because there was like some really disgusting things that Steve-O does in the portalette. Oh yeah, no, I almost threw up watching the sweatsuit cocktail. Yeah. And that... she was like laughing the whole time. Uh-huh. And it, when we got done with the movie, we went and ate pizza at like the strip club. Uh-huh. It was in Myrtle Beach. And um, she was like, oh, it's my birthday. And I was like, oh, like, this is perfect. Uh-huh. <laughs> and kind of fell in love from that. Wow. What a beautiful bonding experience. Mm. I remember going to watch Jackass 3D in theaters and I got so high with all my friends, but then it just like made it that much more intense. Oh, yeah. To the point to. where like I was dry heaving at Sweatsuit Cocktail. That was wild. A lot of people hate the sweatsuit cocktail. That was the worst. Were you? you were, I was in the room. Was that it one was of the hot. more brutal things it, for you to oh, watch? Well, I've I've seen a it. You've seen a lot. I've seen a lot. <laughs> I don't get affected visually, mm-hmm. but smells affect me. Yeah. So when the scent came, that's when I was like, oh god. Oh. oh and you, you watched that firsthand. Yes. So and then he was in a hot room. It was Preston wearing the suit. Who drank it? Steve-O. Oh, God, yeah. And the other one that got me, <laughs> too, was when the, the fart, the fart uh, beer bomb, beer Yes. Thing, that one, and Preston actually pooped in it. Oh, yeah. And the room, all the windows were in it. Just, I was like, oh, my God. That, just like, smells. Shit yeah. right I can watch things, but smells. Mm-hmm. That's, That's fair. Yeah, that gets me. Yeah. There was a lot of that, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. It sucks. <laughs> is it done now? Is that? We don't know. Okay. We never know. I we like thought that. it was done after the first movie. Really? Never again. We made well, a movie. Because it was like... a show for a while. And then yeah. it was, then, then we wanted to do movies. Yeah. And then when we did the movie, we're like, we're done. And then and you did it three more times. Three more times. Were you ever hurt badly? Oh, uh, yeah. What All was your time. worst injury from I Jackass? I did most of my, from Jackass, not much. Probably knocked out. Okay. But my worst injuries long? were skateboarding. 
Got oh, it. like 30 seconds, maybe 15 seconds. Okay. Or like, you know, boom, knocked out. Like, whoa. Do you think skateboarding prepared you for that, though? Yes, it okay. totally did. Cause did you skateboard? Okay, that's, that's how, you guys how we met. know each other. Okay. And met. Got it. So, but when we would do jackass and stuff, and Jeff would be like, Tremaine would be like, dude, don't skate fall on this. Come on. Like, like get slammed. Oh, because you knew how to fall. Yeah, and I'm like, I know how to like, th- launch me, and I'm going to like tuck and roll, you mm-hmm. know? And he's like, come on, just take the slam. <laughs> and you did. I'd have to. I feel at like times. But your body, your instinct is to just, oh, if it you is. know how to do it, then I know it's how like, to fall, yes. To like not fall when you know how to, that's got to be like I a have, whole. I have to take it to the next level where I just ragdoll my body before yeah. anything happens. Were you ever drunk? I was going to say, like, to go full ragdoll, I'd be like, give me a shot. Yeah, no, I've been. I mean, that's how I did stand up my first 50 times. I just would fl- get fucked up. Which is so dumb. But Can you, like, do you have your jokes written out? Mm-hmm. Or, oh, yeah. Okay. So I have it all memorized. But it was just the confidence that, mm-hmm. that that you needed to. I just hated public speaking. Like growing up, I like couldn't be in front of people. And even I took a class in college that was public speaking, and I would get hammered at like nine a.m. <laughs> get through my <laughs> sleep. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I would wake up and just like <laughs> drink straight like orange Burnett's vodka that I would, like mix with my sorority house orange juice. And I would like stumble into class and just rip through my speech and then just be wildly hungover by noon. But I remember like the first day they were like, all right, just go up and talk for two minutes. And I was like, yeah. I got up there and my leg was shaking. And I was like, I can't, in front of like eight students. Like it was like the like dumb kid class. And I just was like, well, I'm not doing that again. And all my friends took Xanax and I was like, I don't want to take drugs. Yeah. So I was like, I'll just get drunk. Hmm. And then that's how I got through it. And then. The last, I remember my mom was like, she knew I was going into that class like really scared. So she's like, how's class going? And I was like, really well. <laughs> and she's like, really? Like, like, hold on, mom. Yeah. And then class she was, is and then great. I, I had to fess up to her. I, don't, I like, I can't lie. I'm okay. the worst at lying. So I just was like, you know, mom, I've been wasted. And she was like, excuse me? I was like, I've just been <laughs> hammered. She was like, okay. She was cool about it. She was like, all right, just do the last speech sober. And I was like, you know what? I can do that. I'll be like, you know, fully prepared after all this drinking and talking. So I go up and it was like the assignment was to give like a ceremonial speech. So everyone goes up and is like the, you know, bride, groomsmen in their like brother's wedding or like okay. the bridesmaids. So everyone goes up and these, does these really normal speeches. I get up there and I decided to write a eulogy to my hamster that passed when I was like a kid. That's funny. I was all pumped about it too because this thing lived like eight years. It was, a, and I named him William Wallace because I loved horses so i loved the, sh- the movie braveheart i was a kid when i watched it and all i cared about was best like, battle so scenes it, amazing <laughs> and he was a warrior so his name was william wallace he lived this legendary life and i thought these, this would just kill i got up there and i was like this is gonna fucking murder everyone's in there just like like looking away almost and i'm like Shut oh my god so up. i got really nervous again so once again it like proved to me that like i have to just be drunk to get through this stuff. so did they did they do that because they thought that you were taking that class as a like a joke or something like you were doing like not like not because you're a comedian but you're you know you weren't taking it serious do what the, i'm wondering what you're like asking. the hamster eulogy and no, uh, she did that on her own she yeah like the assignment was speech. celebratory so they're like no, i know but you said the students were looking at you like like they were confused okay. yeah they because everyone went in there being like oh like i'm gonna give like a normal yeah that's what i meant celebratory yeah. speech and i just thought it'd be funny to do a eulogy for a hamster yeah. And no one had a sense of humor in that class, I guess. Mm. Or everyone was just barred out because my friends still took Xanax to get through their speeches and like half the class was my friend. So like half the <laughs> they, class is like barred out. The other, are, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was already... And then I'm up there just like fighting for my life with this <laughs> eulogy. Uh, but I was like, after that, I was like, I'm never just raw dogging, public speaking again. So then when I did, I started doing stand up, I was like, I'm just going to be drunk. But then I learned that's not sustainable. It's not the best way. <laughs> Luckily, that was, yeah, it's been a while. So, long what time. was it like the first time you did stand up when you decided not to do it drunk? Was it was it because you already done the it for so long? The first time I was so severely hungover that the thought of drinking made me feel sick. So, I was just up there, just kind of out of it because I was hungover. So, I still had that like weird effects of alcohol. And then I was like, okay, Tori, like, you got to. You got to be sober. And I, and I got a few shows that were like getting bigger and bigger stakes. So I was like, I can't be up there just, you know, being sloppy. And so then I started to not drink. And then I took a year and two months off of drinking fully. And like that was something I had a face where I'm like, oh, like I'm doing bigger shows where I have to be sober. But I was able to just but enough times doing it. I was like, OK, this is better. Yeah. And I also learned like 
you're actually much worse when you're drinking. Like I would watch tapes back and I'd be like, that's so, that's like your crowd work is slow because you're, you're just not like two seconds behind. Then you're like, you're watching the screen like, come on. <laughs> so yeah, it's been like, now I don't drink when I do stand up unless nice. like I just need like a one glass of wine to settle in. But I try like that's, I really undid that thinking with my sobriety and trying not to drink for a long time. Nice. So thanks. Speaking of sobriety, how is it being in a sorority? How was it being in a sorority? Yeah, oh, which I hated sorority it. Were you in? I was in Chi Omega. I, this is a chapter of my what? life that I just Why? wave what, off. What What made you decide to be a sorority girl? Um, I went to school in Colorado, I went to the University of Colorado in Boulder, okay. and uh, SCO Buffs. And uh, <laughs> I just I went to I was from like a small state in Maryland, and like I just got out there and I was like I not, growing up I had like a ton of girlfriends, and I just I felt like I had my own sorority type experience in high school. Okay. So I was like, oh, like. I'll just get out there and like have all the girlies be my best friends. And then I got out there and I got into like the best one, but it was like, like one girl, her mom was like Tony Katane and like, it just was very like LA. And like a lot of the girls just had these like chips on their shoulders. And like, I just felt like, I don't know why I need to include that information, but the girls there were just like very like just from a different world. Yes. And, uh, they, I just didn't really fit in and I was like always joking around and they just didn't get me. And I had like more of an East coast like feel to me. And I also played club lacrosse. So, I was always off doing that. So I never really fit in. Like I never learned the chants or like the fucking, like the hand stuff. The and gang sign? You need exactly. to learn the I never, gang sign? I'm not kidding. Someone like was like, throw up your sign. And I was like, what? <laughs> and so, then what do you say? What's the college? Every college person does and you did it here. You're like, go what? Oh, go buffs. <laughs> Why does every college person go like, go team, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're like, you went to school there. <laughs> you know. That was embarrassing. I'm glad you're calling Did you me out. Did you have to get that. hazed to get in there? Ah, uh, thanks. Um, <laughs> I was emotionally hazed just by myself. Like, <laughs> I hazed myself by doing it. Um, I, luckily, there was no weird drinking or like you didn't have to like eat, drink a goldfish or kill a puppy. Like it was Whoa, pretty chill. Kill a puppy. <laughs> Apparently, they do that in France. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I. Uh, I, it was just a weird, it was like 250 girls. I lived in a house the first year and it, like you live in a house with like 50 girls and like, whoa, yeah, it's, there's, that's pretty cool. Also, what's funny is that you're not allowed to drink okay. in the sorority house, but I only broke that rule to do my public speaking class. Uh, yeah. yeah. Cause you did say you drank your sorority mm -hmm. orange juice. Yeah. <laughs> whoa. Special orange juice. Yeah. No, I was <laughs> wild with that. It was like the only time I broke that was for academics, but yeah, I don't know. It wasn't really my thing. But, yeah. Cause school like, doesn't seem like it was your thing either. It was Where you went, you know, outside of school, you got successful being funny. That's so sweet. Thanks. We're still, I mean, the comedy is the longest journey ever. Like you just gotta stay on the conveyor belt and just hope for the best. But I mean, I have a lot of friends that are at that next level, and even they're like, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've got friends with, like, HBO specials, and they're just like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, well, you're doing pretty well, and they're like, this does Like, everyone has this humility to them, and I think that's just getting on stage and being like, here's everything. But I don't know. It just feels like this never-ending. You're always your worst critic, though. That's true. You know true. what I mean? Yeah. So it doesn't matter what you do. Oh, you got an Emmy. You're a great actor. Yeah. Like, or Oscar. I'm going to kill myself with it. Yeah. Just, no, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. It's garbage. <laughs> I guess that's so true. Yeah. But yeah, it's been a cool experience. And whenever I, I don't think about quitting because I'm like, I can't. But whenever I think of that, I'm like, well, that's like the coolest part about me, I think, is doing stand up. So I'm like, nah, I'm just going to keep doing it. I know what the people want to know. I'm old and gross. What? I know what the people want to know. What do they want to know? <laughs> Worst <laughs> normal job you've ever had. Okay. That's a really good question. Yeah, like where you were like, I can't believe I went and signed up for this place. Well, I've done a lot of jobs. Okay. I've babysat. Like, at, like, like, I mean, I've been a nanny. I've worked at ice cream. Like my first job was in ice cream. Uh, it was at Rita's Italian Ice. I don't know if you know Rita's. They're no. mostly East Coast. Okay. Um, interned everywhere. Um, the, the, the job that comes to mind that was truly awful was my first real job out of college. I worked at an ad agency, like a okay. really top one, which I was impressed that I even got into it. But it was on a really major airlines account. And everyone I worked with was just an alcoholic. Like, I'll never forget my first day on the job. My boss who was Australian. He was hilarious. I loved him. But like my first day, I sit down at my desk and I'm all excited. It's my first like New York City <laughs> ad job. <laughs> And I'm like, my pencils are all in order. And I look up and he pulls out his uh, 
desk drawer and he pulls out whiskey and just dumps it into his coffee and he looks at me and goes Shh. and then he goes back to work and I was like and I remember that moment being like what did I just sign up for and I'm not kidding that whole year I was just blackout drunk for mm -hmm. like a full year because it was their way of connecting with each other easy and easy going we'd go out to lunches and the, the next bottle of rosé became the fifth bottle and we're all just wasted all the time to the point where <laughs> i was in an office it was like our account group directors like he's like a big guy he was out of office on a shoot she comes in she was my boss she's like boss's boss She's wearing a dress and she goes, I'm not wearing any underwear, stands over a trash can. Shut up. No, this oh. is true. She stands over a trash can and just pees looking at me because she was so drunk because she had just like, gotten back from one of our boozy lunches. Like one of those little like under the desk, little like little trash cans. 10 gallon yeah, trash exactly. can that you just. And I'm and I just was I was in there on my computer, like sending emails, just like in awe of like I was like, what is, what is this? No way. And it was crazy because she would like grill me like she'd be like why didn't you send that to the clients like that that's late <laughs> and i'm standing there looking at this woman and i'm like you're peeing over a trash can right now <laughs> like how am i gonna ever take you seriously again yeah or take and authority from you literally oh you're the pp lady and you're telling me what to do <laughs> literally it was yeah it was the most top and it gets better i mean she was getting married and planning her wedding and she had like half of the team as her bridesmaids but like one girl was like left out and she would be like she'd be like who should i put at my friend's table from like high school and she would like have a seating chart out and like wouldn't be doing work and like Meanwhile, the one okay. girl's like sad because she's being left out. I'm too new. Like I, I was there for a year. Yeah. So I'm too new to even give a fuck. But I'm like, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. And then she's also like hooking up with one of the bosses while she's planning her way. It was shut. It up. was wild. Wow. And I, I know I'm saying a lot, but I'm trying to be a very um. You're not giving names, right? Or anything. You don't. Uh, yeah. yeah you're so, good. but it's you didn't like give any things. names. No. But it was one of the craziest work. PP lady and drunk yeah, exactly. boss guy. Like, yeah. Who cares? I could be so, any place. Uh, yeah, that was probably the craziest work experience I've had. Um, and then I got fired because I hated everyone and I like stopped going out with them. So I'm like, I'm not going to go black out with you guys. And it just became like, I kind of just like drift away on this like iceberg, like I'm good. <laughs> and then I also hated account work. Like I've always wanted to do strategy out of college. I, I really, that was like my dream to do, yeah. to be a like strategist, which you need like a PhD and to be a man, which sounds like really dramatic, but you had to go to like ad school to do it. Got it. So I kind of just got stuck in this account work, which wasn't creative. It wasn't strategic. It was just like, hey, that should be blue. And the creatives are like, I want green. And you're like, well, let me tell the client. And then the client's like, no, make it blue. And then it just, you just feel stupid. So eventually I just kind of like, was like, I hate this. I'd rather do strategy. And I kind of yeah. would work with the strategy team. And the, eventually my boss was like, you made it clear that you don't really want to be here. And I'm like, good. <laughs> so I got fired and I'll never forget. I, <laughs> my mom was in town. She's a, a producer and she was on an edit in New York. And I called my mom. I go, mom, I got fired. She's like, fuck yeah, let's go out. We like went to the Brandy library and like got wasted on like scotch. And like, I just sat at a bar and I was like, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Your mom is cool. She's the coolest. Your my mom mom's is the coolest. way cool. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, she really is. You're cool, mom. Mrs. Love you, mom. Cool. Yeah, yes. she uh, and she was just like, fuck that. And then we just kind of got drunk and then moved on. And then I got my next job. I already was in works of talking to them. Yeah. And then I got hired by them. And I still have that job to this day. So I still have a, a nine to five while doing all of this uh, stuff. Ah, what's the nine to five now? I work at a company called Team One. It's all of uh, like Lexus, the car brand. We do all yeah. of the advertising. Oh, nice. Yeah, they give me all a car. Right. It's like the best job. Wait, you get free cars? Mm -hmm. Shut up. Yeah, that's, it's a big part of why I have the job. Whoa. So you drive around New York City in your Lexus? Mm -hmm. Nice. Thanks. Yeah. Dang. It's been nice. I'll take it on road gigs. You're fancy if you're a driver in, Lex in a Lexus you in New have York. You could have a Lexus. Yeah, I guess. No, I driver just in, in New, New York. York. Honestly, when I first moved to New York, I was like, oh, I didn't. I, I thought it was just for, for taxis. I didn't know like you could drive in New York. Yeah. That's how like naive I was. I was like, you could drive in there? <laughs> <laughs> it's not fun, but no, it's not that I bad. No, I can see that. Yeah. Oh, cool. Thanks. Yeah. I mean, the are dream you, is to not have that anymore. Are you on the road a lot for, for comedy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, last year I toured with my friend Troy. I opened for him. I really like him a lot. Yeah. Troy he's, Bonds. Uh -huh. oh, that's cool. You know, he's he had a huge come up, but uh, his fans are crazy. Like huh. they'll come and like, he'll be like, will you sign this? And then they'll show up to the next show with a tattoo of oh, whatever he that, drew. That One that girl happens. even had me write something down. I was like, 
I thought she was being cute. Like, oh, will you sign it too? And I was like, yeah. Comes back the next show with what we- Your autograph got tattooed? I wrote a quote because I felt weird doing an autograph. So um, she was being really bashful about loving Fall Out Boy. And I just go, love what you love. <laughs> Being corny as hell. And then I wrote, Shut I wrote, love up. what you love. And then she came back and she had it tattooed on her arm. Love what you love. Yeah. I was like, don't, I was like, if you love Fall Out Boy, love Fall Out Boy. And then I just wrote, love what you love. And then, sure That's enough. a pretty good quote, though. It's pretty cool that she has that. Thanks. You yeah. Know? It's like next to Troy. <laughs> it's next to Troy's signature. So Troy, Troy goes. <laughs> or he did a quote, too. He, well, I was like, because he was kind of, it was like a long show. And he was like, just hand me the paper. <laughs> so I hand him the paper. Because the first night we had her come in, because she was such a big fan, I, I usually facilitate for him. I'm like, okay, this person wants to see you. Like, can they come in? Because I my DMs are not as chaotic as his. So she came <laughs> in the first night, and then the next night he just was like here, and he like doodled something. I think she came to like all four shows, but he wrote this huge doodle, and I was like, don't make it so big. She's really gonna do this. So he wrote this huge like Batman sign, and he wrote Troy Bond said this was a bad idea, and then sure enough. She got Troy Bond wow. said this is a bad idea. Her whole forearm. And then it's got like, love what you love. I was like, this is so chaotic. <laughs> this is a bad idea, but you know what? Just love what you, Just if you live. love this, love yeah. it. <laughs> Luckily it wasn't her first tattoo, but still. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, so yeah, last year we were on the road pipe every weekend, if not every other, but. So when you're in New York City, what are the main clubs that you're you're, you're doing when you're there? In I town? also manage a club, so I'm at Greenwich Village Comedy Club every Tuesday. Really? Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. yeah. I was just recently there. I was doing mics there. Oh, really? At the Greenwich. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a great club. spot for mics, and yeah. it's just like a great like a lot of comedy. Like T.J. Miller pops in. Like Vinny from the Jersey Shore is always there. He's like getting into stand up. So <laughs> it's a really random little club, but it's also a family in there because it's the same comics that come through every week. So. I feel really lucky to be a part of no, it. So I'm usually a, there from the I city. saw really good comics there, and and just uh, the way it works, everyone's like, I went to New York just to kind of check out the comedy scene mm -hmm. and see you know what it was all about, and uh, so the mics I was doing there, it's a hustle. People go and do their set and they leave. Yeah. Off to the next mic, mm -hmm. and uh, that's how it was at the Greenwich one. Yeah, you come and you get out. I mean, it's a courtesy to stay for at least three or four. A lot of NYU support. students that I noticed. At least when I was there. Oh, doing, really? Doing the mics That's interesting. Stuff. I always get really like annoyed and feel old when it's when it's students that pop in. Like, oh, I did too. I was like, like if only I song? started at your age. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got a late bloomer right here. Punch got yeah. into the game a little late. Yeah. I've been yeah. doing it for like three years. Do now. you love it? I, I do. You got to come I, back to New York and do more. Yeah, I will. Now that I know someone, yeah, I'll hit like, you up. Come do Greenwich. Yes. Yeah, I will. I, it's such a fun club. Same with Broadway. I mean, that's where I started was the Broadway Comedy Club. That's the club I really liked because it was more set up, at least for the mics. Uh -huh. Like the, the mics are out here. They're all slotted. Mm -hmm. So people are staying. They have to like, it's like they sign up for the for the hour and they have to stay the yeah. entire hour to watch out of respect. Right. And that's kind of how it is here. Whereas to the mics out there are very like, if you sign up for like the, the the bucket list or whatever, it's like people just leave. Mm -hmm. But that's how it is. Yeah. yeah, by the end of uh, the end of a mic is one of the saddest places you can be in all of New York City. I was there a lot. <laughs> it's like it's like you and like three people, and everyone's just dead inside. And you get up there, and you're like, you could be like Bill Burr, and everyone's just like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, are there last call drinks, and it's the people yeah, that don't exactly. want to leave? The lights They're come like, on, you're like, why is this place so what? dirty? It's done. It literally. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I haven't done mics in a long time. And I, I don't think anyone, it's like, I don't want to say like I'm above them because you're never above anything in this world. Like yeah. you can go back to the bottom at any second. But I have not done them. And I remember when I first started out, they were, it was just like, I just was in there like, this sucks. But you got to do it. And then it, it's still, every step of the game is fun. So like, there's still like the excitement. I don't know. How long have you been doing stand up for now? Um, I started in 2019. Oh, cool. So like six years, but I don't really count the pandemic because yeah. I just kind of hid for a year. So, but when I got back in May of 21, I just kind of hit the ground running and that's when I met Troy. And then we had the podcast together. And then once he kind of had us come up, he was like, you're coming with me. I, I watched Troy like, and I, 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 I never like watched his like, like I just watched his heckling, mm -hmm. like yeah. how he deals with that's, hecklers. Yeah. And there's this let, uh, he's like doing a like a, a Nazi joke or something, mm -hmm. and there's a German lady in the audience, and mm -hmm. she's just not digging oh, she's like, it. You're not funny. And, he, and yeah. he just rips her apart. Yeah. Shut up. But the whole crowd goes in there. And he's like, "Hey, what kind of jokes you have in 
And he's like, you guys don't even have comedy clubs in Germany. What kind of clubs? What do, what do comics talk about there? Like, knock, knock, who's there? Doesn't fucking matter. Let me the fuck in right now. Yeah. And, it, but, and, and it just destroys this girl and just keeps going on. That's and awesome. I actually DM'd him, not mm -hmm. like thinking he was going to DM back. And I was like, dude, I love this joke so much. Aww. This is great. And he he's like, thank you so much. He's like, really good about I was like, oh, dude, this getting is back cool. to people. Yeah, he was great. Yeah. That was awesome. That that's cool that you get to work with him. Yeah, so. he's brilliant. I really like his. Like, I like to think that I'm a smart person, but I'm with. Him, but I, like around him, I'm just like, oh, I'm I'm an idiot. Yeah. He just like runs circles around me. <laughs> like our podcast is just like all goes over my head, and I'm just like, whatever. He's part of the stupid podcast. Uh, it's he has one called Bonding. Oh, yeah, okay. and we did that together. I co-hosted for a while. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. But all now right. he has his other podcast, and I have mine. I'm trying to. Climb my own ladder, but there it's a fucking yeah. It's well, it's a lot. I'm starting right. to headline, and I'm like, do you do you feel like he made you better, like traveling with him and yes. being on the road? with Oh yeah, him? I mean, I got in front of audiences that I wouldn't have gotten in front of in this stage of my career, uh, like doing all the improvs out here. I've done Brea, San Jose, Oxnard, and when those are sold out, it's like 400 people in there. So uh, I've been really fortunate. He everything he touches sells out. So I've been mm -hmm. lucky to be in front of those audiences. You need to find a person like that to get behind punch. It's yeah. like a, yeah, it's like you a need, toe line. You just yeah. get like dropped into the waves and you're like, here goes something. And yeah. then you learn, you're like, oh, I actually can surf these waves. And you then you need to get out of the kiddie pool and yeah. surf big waves, bro. Yep. <laughs> Three years in, that's like it, that's that phase. It's the that's time. the time yeah. when you kind of. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. the time. Well, that's what I gave myself was three years yeah. to see if like I could figure out what I want to talk about, mm -hmm. find my voice, have the stage presence, and I was like that too. With see if I fell fell in love with it. You know? Yeah, and you did. Yeah, it's addicting. I mean, sometimes that, when I don't do it for a little while, I'm like, I just feel kind of lost. I'm like, what am I doing? Who am I? But then you get back in front of a big crowd, and you're like, oh, this is what, it, you know. It's all about. Nice. So I'm lucky. We're uh, at it's called McGooby's Joke House in Timonium next weekend. Where's that at? It's in Maryland. Oh, okay. Timonium. It's like Baltimore. Yeah. But it's like a big room. So I'm, and it's like theater style. So it's fun when you get to look up because that audience. Like sometimes you're just always like looking down. But oh. Looking up is like you're a like, different. Yeah. Like, I'm king of the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. And what? Is, so you got that. What else is coming up for you? I'm headlining my first show in Boston, which yeah. I'm like kind of shitting my pants. Shut about. up, yeah. Boston crowd. Yeah, that they're tough. Well, we did Laugh Boston last year, which is one of the bigger clubs there, and okay. it was one of the fav my favorite shows I've done. Austin and Boston were like last year were my favorite audiences. They're just down to laugh, so I'm excited. But it's my it's like my show, which I'm used Whoa. to like hiding behind Troy's name and being like whatever, like. You know, I get to, you get to fill well, the tickets. People are going there for him and then exactly. they get and then as I'm a just treat, like, I get know? to jump. Yeah, I hear, I hear featuring is the best spot on the road because no one knows, no one really expects anything of you. There's, you're not in charge of ticket sales. Mm. You just get to go in, do your thing and get out yeah. for 20 minutes. But um, yeah, it'll be my first time running. I mean, I'm so used to running 20 that now I'm like, oh, I have to do 45. Like, just got to double Are you that. writing? Yeah, I mean, I'm always writing, but yeah. it's hard because you have to polish a joke. I mean, I still tell the Jeep Wave joke, even though I was like, I wrote it during the <laughs> pandemic. And I'm like, I'll do it. And I'm like, <laughs> I like, hey, fuck it. I'm like, you guys know the why Jeep Wave? Why don't you add the ducks to it? Do you know about the ducks with, for Jeeps? Oh, yeah. Like people leave the, little they ducks. Get ducked. Uh, yeah. on the, and you, they're like, I you can, just got ducks. That's the thing. Like, there's so, I have a lot of jokes that have so much runway. And like, I, I will keep adding to them. Yeah. But it's hard to get a really good joke. You have to tell it over and over again yeah. and polish it and change it. Yeah. And I have probably like 30 minutes of that, but I'm hoping just to fill in with some crowd work and just call it a day. But it'll be my first one. And I'm like, here we go. This is how it starts. So. Tori Cole in Boston, yeah. headlining. When and, when and where June again? June 15th and 16th at Nick's Comedy Stop. So if you're there. Go Thanks. watch her. Appreciate that. I just sold like two film tickets. It? Thank you so much. I sold two <laughs> tickets right there. They're like nosebleeds, wow. but I sold them. No, I think it's all a pretty intimate <clears throat> setting. I think it like seats like a hundred. So. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Two of that. I mean, that's yeah. Every ninety-eight more to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna say, P? No, nothing. Uh, are you doing a lot of shows out here, though? I mean, this is a good place to start. I do a lot of shows. Okay. I do. Um, I'm. I mean, I know, I, I know, like, what I want. Like, I, I know I don't want to be a headliner. You know, really? I, I know that I, I, I want to open up for someone mm -hmm. great. That's, I, I haven't, I'm you older. Want to I don't, I'm older and I, I haven't, I don't have the time 
to like in to, life to put, or like no, in no. your day to day. <laughs> well, yeah, in life, to, in life. <laughs> like, that's really depressing. He's counting, he's like, I don't have the time to like, <laughs> like for what like comics. So you got to pay your dues for twenty years before yeah. you do. I don't have. 10, I get 20 it. I years. Hear, I hear like, 10 years is the sweet spot. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, okay, like, in four years. So, like, but I feel like nowadays it's a, it's a, it's a lot easier it's for comics. It's a different comics. game, though. I mean, with social media. You can, and... Social media, you, you, you can film your sets all the time mm -hmm. to, and just kind of oh, pick it apart. Yeah. Like, you have, like, things that you can do that you weren't able to do 20 right. years ago to, like, make yourself That's better. That's why come up as faster. Yeah. So, you have time. The come up's faster, dude. Yeah, I'll, be a headliner. I'm so discouraged <laughs> right now. Like, I don't want to be a headliner. Where did this shoot for the stars, bro? <laughs> I am like, shooting for the stars. Yeah, but I think I that would be like be... really good, like, really great to like travel Where's with someone awesome and not from? have like you guys your, your this name into a counting show. on. He wants to take. I want to do a show with him, he but wants to take brilliant. It on the road. Okay, yeah. this is already We're, beginning. This is happening. This is my meal ticket You're right, right here. I don't like this attitude. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Boo. right? Yeah. Hey, we're our own worst enemies. We're our own worst enemies. And that's sometimes true. it takes someone that believes in you a little bit more than you believe in yourself. That's true. I believe in you, buddy. Yeah. The yeah. two of us believe in you. And, yeah. that's and she's like, and I've never even seen you. Like, I don't even know now. if you're funny or not. <laughs> no, but that'll be great. You could have a segment of stand up. So what we You're taking this on the road. Where do you want to go? Oh, I'll go worldwide with this. Yeah. I, I love. I love being in front of crowds for anything. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, even on my birthday when I got drunk and I roused up the bar, I'm like, oh, this is. Did you feels... buy a round for everyone? No, not at that one, but I've done that okay. before. That's my dream in life you is know... to buy a round. So the one big time I did it, uh -huh. we were wasted, like at 11 a.m. We were the 11 a.m. drunks. We were the lady who tried and mm -hmm. hooked up with two midges at the same time. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we were at Nobu in Newport Beach. Mm -hmm. And all my friends are Those loud. Those are expensive shots. All my friends are loud. Uh huh. And I'm and I'm drunk, but I'm like, I'm always worried. I'm every time I'm somewhere, I'm worried about everybody around me. I'm mm -hmm. always worried about people. And I'm sitting there like, fuck, they're gonna hate us. We're gonna get thrown out. Nobody's not gonna like us. Da da da. I'm like, fuck it. I'm like, all right, uh, Casamigos for everybody. Whoever raises their hand. 11 a.m., just open the doors. 27 people. Stop. And I'm like, let's do it. Like, it's on me. Let's do it. And the guy's like, really? I'm like, serious. How much was that? It was over 700 bucks. I know okay. that. But uh, the guy came out with a serving tray with all the shots on it. And I was just handing them out That's to everybody. Incredible. And I'm like, now we can do whatever we want. I you love know that. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like we just bought our screaming and I was like, yes. <laughs> but everybody like felt good. I love that. Yeah. Eleven AM sushi is aggressive. Yeah. It was like Who on a Sunday. That, those are the freaks that want like, a shot. It was, it was brunch time. <laughs> what? They're, yeah, it was brunch. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's uh, like some know? raw tuna at eleven AM. And tequila. Tuna and tequila. That sounds like a good time. <laughs> it was when a was great that? This is like three. This was right after the pandemic. When okay. People were excited oh, yeah. to, be to be out. out and I was everything. like, I don't even want to shake your hand. Let's just make out. Like, <laughs> I'm so over this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we've been far enough away. Really? Yeah. That's hilarious. So, what phase of your life would you say was the craziest like party phase where you like everywhere you went was just like that moment? Um, I don't know if there was ever a phase. Phase is just your whole it's life. Just <laughs> It still That's continued. Incredible. That's incredible. It still good. continued. It just happened last week too. So yeah, I, like I can't that. really say that there, there. There's little dip downs, and mm -hmm. I'm like, whew, glad I survived. <laughs> yeah. And then something happens again. I like that. I have certain friends that bring that out. That bring it out, and then and I have different groups of it too. Mm -hmm. So who's your friend that brings it out? Uh, I don't want to drop names because maybe they don't want to get into as much That's trouble fair. as I do. Oh, just to have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. No, I got a couple. Jose, Serta, my boy Randy. These are all like nicknames you're giving them? No, I'm not. I'm giving <laughs> birth given names. <laughs> okay. They know who they are. These are the mother given names. All right. I like to hear that because I just feel like, not that I'm old, but the older I get, the more I'm like, oh, well, there goes that fun no, time. No. Every time my friend's like, I'm pregnant, well, there goes that friend, you know? <laughs> the best stories I hear lately when I'm in like, Cause I'll Uber everywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Big I'll Uber, Uber up guy? To, 
It, yeah, because if I'm drunk driving and I even just bump somebody, that's almost like yeah. they're like, oh, I'm taking everything. Do Uber You're drivers like, That's get way excited, mad. I'm going to sue the shit out of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'd rather spend $200 a night on Ubers. And... But like, are, do drivers, are they like, oh, oh my God, like, your wee man. They What's fucking up? love. I, I'm... Do you have to talk all the time? Yes. Do you have to be on all the time? Like, you're going to be like, hey, can I just have a fucking minute? Uh, the only time, yeah, I try, but no, I have to be on and I have to, if they're super fans, it's, it's always a sell. Can we get a picture? Can we get? And you're like, yeah. But the best is I try and turn it on them and I'm like, give me stories. Give me, I want taxi mm -hmm. cab confessions. Mm -hmm. Guy went to him and was like, <laughs> dude, the ladies that were in here right before you, I'm the only guy. And it was like six ladies. He goes, I picked up like a bridal shower mm -hmm. party. One's cheating on her dude. Of she course. doesn't give a fuck. Her yeah, other yeah. friend's like, I'm leaving this guy. And she's like, you should go screw three guys <laughs> right now. And he's like, and they're all telling me this. And 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 one's grabbing my shoulder like, don't you agree? Like, no, I'm just taking you ladies. Like, you know? Mm -hmm. And I love it. I just love hearing it. They all have stories. I mean, I've heard like the wife with terminal cancer. Like you, you feel for these people. Like you get oh, yeah. connected. Like yeah. I've like cried in Ubers. Like <laughs> I, try, I usually am quiet, especially in New York. You just get in, you say thank you, you get out. Yeah. But I feel like, I mean, I'm not, no one knows who I am. So they're not like, ooh, tell me a story. No, I'd switch it and make them tell me That's stories. That's smart. Because yeah. you're probably like, I'm tired. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure done. people ask me questions. I want to be entertained. Right? Entertain me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's a question that you get all the time that you're like tired of answering? Oh, I just did this this morning. Sorry, did I? Is that one of them? No. <laughs> You're like that fucking no, question. No, I came up with this oh, answer okay. this morning. Oh, okay. I'm at Starbucks getting a coffee early, and I moved recently, so I've been going to this new Starbucks. Uh -huh. You big Starbucks guy? I like it. It's okay. fine. Shout I just out? it's easy. no, not shout out. I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> a lot of LA heads. Sponsor. Out to say. Yeah, it's just it's easy. It's convenient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd and rather go consistent. to a mom and pop, but they're yeah. not like. Mm -hmm. As many as like I'm in New York and go to like right. I love going to New York and going to coffee places, mm -hmm. the blue cup ones, whatever yeah, the blue little, bottle. They're, the, so, they're out here. No, not blue bottle. The where people are drinking like these like blue it cups. looks just like blue cup diner kind of coffee, like where it's just like oh, oh. yes, I know the Greek cups. The like Greek, the classic Greek, New York. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Class, like I love yeah, that yeah, kind yeah, of totally. style. So, what was the question? All right, so <laughs> I go in, and the lady they. You can tell, I'm just, I want people to be up front. So the lady comes, you could tell that like, they saw me get out of my car mm -hmm. and the lady's like, oh, that's him. And <laughs> yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah. what? No, she's like, ask him when he comes, you know? Like, that's how it is. And the lady goes, are you? And I just said, no, I'm not gay. <laughs> and she's like, wow. And she's like, got us on that one. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. And she goes, Oh, and I'm like, my name's Jason. They're like, oh, okay. That's like, really Dude. funny. But they always, they, they don't want to ask, but they yeah. half ask, you know? And they're yeah. like, are well, you? Because you think get weird about being like, giving you your nickname, being like, are you wee man? Yeah, that's what it is. Because then they, they they don't want me to blow up. I'm like, why does everybody yeah, why think I'm <laughs> fucking him? You know what I mean? Like, Or that you're offended by that nickname. Yeah. Like, that's not me anymore. Yeah, so. That's hilarious. I, I was quick-witted this morning. I'm like. I'm not getting him there. I go, oh, you got us. Well, uh, Does that can be like your new go-to? I think for a little bit. I but now I can't use it anymore because I think people will see this and they're going to use it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, Troy will do this thing where people are like, Troy, and he goes, where? <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty silly. Or like we have, we always have the inside joke, you know, SpongeBob, when he's like, are you that guy? And he's like, I am that guy. <laughs> you know that? No. I'll have to find the video, but he always, we always joke that it's like SpongeBob where he's like, I am that guy. I used to get, and this was my old one, are you that actor? And I'm like, no, I get Samuel L. Jackson all the time, <laughs> not him. I know. And there are, it, you can tell, yeah. like, I throw a big wrench into people's brains, like, wait, what? Like, that's what? So like, funny. That's way out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you ever just want to turn it off and be like, can I just have a minute? Nope. No. I do when I'm home. Okay. So I know my moments yeah, and I yeah. know that I get you to You don't like, go outside when you're feeling that way? Yeah, I just like. I, I chilled with him at home. He's very relaxed. Just chill. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now I live in this new nature zone. Yeah? I yeah. saw your hawk story this morning. Yeah. He was tearing up that, like, I think it was a mouse he got. and just flew up to the tree, kept it in his claw and just. Ripped it away. I'm like, this is it's a great awesome. way to have breakfast. Yeah, one with them. Yep. <laughs> How far so, away is that from here? 
Uh, about a, uh, with no traffic, about an hour. Okay. Yeah, yeah. L.A., it's like going anywhere, it's like about an hour. You got to yeah. at least give it an hour. I love L.A., but yeah, it's like I love Santa Monica, Venice. It's usually where I stay. Uh, okay. And then when I'm, my friend's in Burbank, so I'm just like, I guess I'm oh, in Burbank. That's that's a far little yeah. trek from there. Should yeah. be 30 minutes. Should be. But you're, you're going to take a little ride. Yeah. Yeah. But Depends on times. You got to know your times to leave. Yeah. That's why we do these in the afternoon, mm -hmm. so we can both leave after traffic. We do get some on the way back, or we do spend you, the day here. Okay. Do you always have two back-to-back? -back? Yeah. We try. Do you ever get tired of talking? Yes. It's a yes, lot. Yes, like, it is. I kind of am dead as a person sometimes, and I'm like, I'll watch my, like when I film for a while, I'm like, I have no life in my eyes. Oh. You ever like watch it back, and you're like, I have no life. Oh, I can feel that. There's no that. life. <laughs> I can feel it if, when I do have it. Yeah, yeah. Do and you ever drink like Celsius to get through, or like, what's your do you have a trick? I used to just drink Red Bulls. Okay. Yeah. I usually wait till after, and then I go straight somewhere. I'm like, I need a couple or something. And a then drink. I, yeah. I push the I push the button. Yeah. The air out deflate. Of the yeah. Full deflate. Like it's hard being on. Oh, yeah. And well, sometimes, like, we can give each other breaks because, like, sometimes, like, I mean, these are both your guests, so he's doing a lot of the talking. It was my day. Yeah, whereas the last week, they were both my guests, so I was, okay. like, kind of, and then he will chime in. He chimes in a lot, you know, but, like, we, we try to be there for each other, but, mm -hmm. like, for the most part, it's, it's, a, it's a learning process as well. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I mean, I Podcasting is just a different beast, too, because you have to pretend there's other people with you almost. Yeah. Because then you're like, oh, right, this isn't just a conversation. There, I like to pretend like there's at least 10 people like sitting in the back. We're like, what is interesting? Or, but also being authentic to yourself. Yep. You totally so have to be that 100%. It's a weird double. And I get so excited like sometimes that I just like keep like, you know, cutting the person off or whatever. Yeah. You got to kind of learn that it's like, let them talk. You've, when did you start this? year ago almost a year, a year ago not if not a full year ago okay. august will be a year august oh wow yeah we started in august i remember now who's been your favorite no guest? we started a little bit before august maybe a little before yeah. we did start a little before because it takes time like you want it to just be like an instant easy success but then you're you like can't. oh no these numbers creep up yeah you're like what the hell like it's like i've got a big following why wouldn't it transfer over and you're like nope but then you see it start and then you're kind of like okay and the ogs are like your core and then it kind of yeah. grows from there but Same. also, yeah, but also, like, even with, like, some of the people, like, you're saying that, like, we've had some really big names, and mm -hmm. some people just won't share our stuff. Interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they're just, like, it's not, we, it, they did it for us, right? but they're not going to share it on their collab, story or anything, yeah. or collab, because, and then you get some of the people that are excited to do that, mm -hmm. that, that push over it. collab, they're like, I'm telling like everybody more. like yeah. yeah. And you're like, okay, cool. <laughs> Who's been your favorite guest? We've had quite a few. Brad Williams was really good because uh -huh. it was the three of us. Yeah, just, yeah. Yes, it was funny. Uh huh. Because um, you could. Would you ever do stand up with him? Or did you guys talk about doing that? Oh yeah. Having shows. We've told him. Yeah. Too, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we talk a lot about the same stuff, so mm -hmm. it just doesn't. Oh, uh, true. Work. He's got a tall wife. I got a tall wife. Yeah. Got a lot of stories about being that, but like. Then some other stuff. You, we uh, we both get called Wee Man. We both get called <laughs> Peter Dinklage. Yeah, yeah. Similar, you know. So it's like you're living the same. I'm not life. stealing your joke. Yeah, I yeah, just deal with the life. same <laughs> shit, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me and Brad were both on the, this show together, both talking about like how we fucking get called it, this guy's That's name all so the time. So funny. But who else was a good one? Who else was a bad uh, Tony Cox. Don't he's a little dude from Friday and so you're, Bad that's Santa. Your favorite or other no, small people? No. We had, well, Mini uh, Kiss was great. Like people no, like no, us. Yeah. Tony Hawk. Just only Tony, Tony Hawk. Hawk. Okay. Really good. And you, because you guys skate, skate. so you have a common a lot of thread. This, all the skateboarders no, that we've had have You know been great. who else is good? What's his name? Super tall dude. Oh, uh, Taylor the Great. Taylor the Great. There you is go, that, Taylor. We just, we just. You know who Taylor Great so is? So I know who that is. He's, the, he's like, he's like Shaq of comedy. Oh. But he's got skinny. Mar fans. He's, a, he's a black man who's got Mar fans, okay. with, which is like an extension of your joints. Okay. So he's like six foot six, okay. but he looks really, really tall compared to us. So uh, we had, oh, that's I mean, he's Weird. towering us and he was really, really fun to have. Uh -huh. And he's a comedian, so he's got a sense of humor mm -hmm. so we could yeah, fuck around. It was, it was fun. It was a good time. That's fun. Yeah. And then. You really uh, like Gigi. Gigi was good. 
Oh, Gigi was really good. She was like a, a scream queen, like does a lot of horror movies. Oh, yeah. okay, and she's cool. Very, she's an actor, so she knew what to do and mm -hmm. how to be. Um, what you would call it? I had one. I was just thinking about it. Oh, we had a yoga instructor girl that just she. Do just, you do yoga? Yeah. Okay. So that's that his thing. Work? Okay. Yeah, it's a big my, thing. Really? Thing. What yeah, got I you to it. yoga? I broke my back, mm -hmm. and after that, my buddy went. And he goes, dude, you should try this. And I was thinking about it because like stretching is really good. And yeah. I just signed up and went. He only lasted a week and I've just been going ever since. How long has that been? Uh, 13 years now. Wow, a yogi. I'm a Do you yogi. like stand on your head and stuff? I can stand on my hands. Okay. I can I, I can balance on one leg to the side. Wow. And, yeah. Did you still I'm skateboard? Pretty, here and there. Okay. Because I feel like Skating, it might trans. Oh, it totally yeah. translates to each other. Do you still skate? No. Yeah. I'd be scared to hurt myself. Oh, I've I had get three lower back like... surgeries. My skateboard days are over. Okay. That'll do it. Yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah, I mean. What other activities do you do? do you, any sports? Sport, well, I grew up playing lacrosse and riding horses. Oh, yeah, you did say lacrosse. Um, riding horses. Jumping? Hockey. Did yeah. You do, what's mm -hmm. that called? Uh, hunter jumpers. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Just jumping. Just that jumping. was correct. Uh, yeah. How do you I, ride horses at in New York? I don't anymore. Okay. But, like, my first... I think from like age three to 15, I rode horses competitively. I had a horse. I was like all in. I was like a, a horse girl. Was your ho horse your best friend? I loved him. Yeah, yeah. his name was Paul. So um, you had the same horse like from three to 15? No, I got him when I was like 12. Okay. I had him for like three years, but he was really bad. Like, I think he had something wrong with him because he would refuse jumps. I'll have to show you guys a funny photo of me eating <laughs> shit. Uh, one day they always had photographers at the big equestrian shows and I would always like run to the tent because there was like a tent where they would show the photos. And I'd run to the tent after my classes and I'd see if they had taken any photos. And this one day I kept running to the tent and there'd be no fucking photos. And then I went in to do a jumping course. I do like three jumps and then I get to this one jump and my horse just stops. I go over the horse, just completely eat shit, fully on the other side of the jump. He runs away. And I just went home like crying that day. And I remember they sent links out after the shows <laughs> yeah. and they sent the link and my parents are like hovered over the computer screen and it's just like me in slow-mo just going over the horse. Oh my God. Like or 40 like... photos. Yeah. Just like my neck's bent. Like it's just like, it's so, it's like carnage and they're like, <gasps> and I'm like, that's crazy. And then end scene there, we forget about it. We move on. I was just bitter that the guy didn't take a single photo of me on my horse. <laughs> I just went fucking haywire with that. <laughs> And then my grandfather passed. This is like 10 years later, 15 years later. And we're like cleaning out his, apart, his house. And I, I look at this stack of photos and he had bought like, <laughs> he bought like 10 of me eating shit, which is like the funniest thing ever. And my Shut dad up. goes, oh yeah, I sent him those photos as like a, oh my God, look at this. And he goes, he was really enamored by it. But I guess he bought the photos. And it was like back in the day where you didn't get digitals. Like he like literally like yeah. paid Prince. money. He bought the prints. And like had them. And it, and I took photos of them because they're so funny. I'll show you. But like, yeah, he just had like these hard copies of me eating shit like hidden in his home. And then we found him after that's he died. That's funny. But yeah. But yeah, other than that, no other sports. I snowboarded in college. Nice. I love snowboarding. Well, Colorado. Yeah, exactly. To, that's kind of yeah. why I went there, too. Like, yeah. I just fell in Did love with it. Did you start with skiing and then go to snowboarding? No. Okay. I thought skiing was for losers. I was like a nice. teen. Yeah. I was like, I'm going straight to snowboarding. Skiing, skiers are You're... like the rollerbladers of the yes, slope. Yeah, they are. <laughs> the rollerbladers of the mountain. I took it up like last year, but yeah. And then now, yeah. <laughs> my skier buddies are going to be like, You're a dick. <laughs> my, that's what you think of us. My buddy's dating a girl now. And he's a motorcycle guy. And mm -hmm. anytime he jumps on a bike, he just he's in wheelie mode. Oh, really? You know? And she's an equestrian girl. Mm -hmm. She just got back into it. And she does jumping. Okay. And she was like yelling at him, like, no more oh, wheelies, yeah. <laughs> no more wheelies. You're done. And we were on a on a dirt bike mission thing and he had his bike and it was messing up. And he gets back on it one time and he's wheeling. Wheelies out, fucks up. And he goes, you can't see anything. We've talked about this. Doing wheelies is like jumping your horse. Anything can happen. Same That's time. true. So he's like, we're both doing and something. And he was fine? Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. He always does. Like, he, he's been, like, wheeling out of wheelies forever. He's cute. Yeah. He used to uh, race jet skis. 
back when they were the ones with the where the, the handlebars stand fully yeah. lifted mm -hmm. up. I've actually been on one of those. He, he used to do those and do tricks and stuff. So they don't make those no more. They're, I think they're illegal. It's pretty dangerous. That, those are like ATVs now, Just like the three wheeler me. ones. Okay. They're like, no, we got to redo this. Do the sit down one now. <laughs> they go so fast. I went on one like a few years ago, and like my friend was like, yeah, if you fell off, you probably would have died. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah. Oh, wow. Because we went like 80 miles an hour. Yeah. And it's like cement, the water. Once and the, like, yeah, once you're over being a dick. Sinking, yeah. Yeah, it's... I was like, okay, good thing I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, I'm not much of a daredevil. I don't know how you do what you did. I don't know. I'm... Do you ever watch it back and you're like, what the fuck? No. Do you watch it back? I watch it back all the time, but I don't. Like... I don't ever go, what the fuck? Because to me, film's forever. So right. I already did it. That's true. And you I live it. through it. I'm yeah. done. I, yeah, I, I need it. to have that attitude when I watch my tapes. I'm like, oh, I was like, that is not how that joke goes. <laughs> <laughs> I like, get sick. I'm like, oh, because they do the clip it all and put it on the internet to like get a following. And I'm just always like, I'm going to quit. <laughs> not yeah, accurate. but you're your worst. That's critic, true. You know That's true. That's I mean? true. But I like your attitude of like, it happened. I already did it. You did it. Yeah, there it is. And they were laughing enough. <laughs> yeah. Or you could just add laughter now from That's the true. background. This is true, but it sounds <laughs> fake. I always no. They actually do pump in laughs for like a lot of the. Um, I don't want to drag this. Whatever, I'll tell you later. But they. <laughs> what you already started? You can't. She already what are started. They pumping in laughs like they specials. Yeah. The yeah. Well, I hear sometimes the settings. They they do film like they. For example, Don't Tell. Love Don't Tell. It's an incredible. I did company. my first Don't Tell in Tampa. Oh really? You, yeah, so they film it a lot, and they're incredible shoots. But sometimes I hear like if it's a tough audience, or if it's like a setting where, again, comedy you really need the perfect setting. If it's like high ceilings, like laughs will just get lost and carried away, and it doesn't seem like it's going as well as it is. Mm -hmm. So I have heard that sometimes they'll like pump in laughs if it's a tough audience, or if it seems like the laughter gets kind of like picked up. I, I had a really good learning experience at a Don't Tell show. But hold on, yeah. let me cue in the laughter. What did you machine. learn? What happened? Um, because here, like, you get really comfortable uh, with like doing the jokes that you do, and yeah. you. I, I, w I was just in Florida, mm -hmm. and I was like in the Ritz side of Florida, and I got put on a Don't Tell show. Cause, in Tampa. Yeah, in Tampa. Did you go to and, the gimmick when you were there. Um, yeah, I love that. I place. love the gimmick. Shout out to that the gimmick. That was so fun. Love it was gimmick. such a good Sean, spot. Sean, the owner, is an incredible dude. Um, but it was right after Shane Gillis's like special came out so you had mm -hmm. a lot of white dudes doing the whole shane gillis thing yeah which was fine whatever everyone goes through their phases but uh i was doing a show there at the don't tell and it's in the ritz side of um tampa mm -hmm. and it was like 120 people super tall ceilings mm -hmm. um half the audience was was dudes the other half was women really really like high class people like mm -hmm. super beautiful people and I do some self-deprecating stuff and I was doing it and all the dudes are laughing their asses off. Mm -hmm. But all the girls are like feeling really bad for me. They're like, oh, I hate that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh. I hate and I never yeah. done this before, but I was in the moment <laughs> uh -huh. and I was just like, I, I couldn't handle it. I was like, oh, don't you all me. I will finger you right now and you won't even see it coming. <laughs> And all the dudes were like, yeah. And then the girls finally came on my yeah, side like, yeah. oh, fuck this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, and they just started laughing at my yeah. stuff instead of like, oh, poor yeah. thing. And look, he's a little guy, too. And mm -hmm. so it, it, it uh, that was a, a fun moment I had like that now, like. Yeah. When you learn things like that, you're like, it's like in your arsenal now. Totally. Like, well, know. the audience wants to see you see them. Yeah. So the second you give them that and then also bridge the gap of the men and the women. Yeah. Like it's that's the best part about comedy. It's like I'm listening. And then once they're like, oh, you get it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's such a fascinating psychological like experiment almost. Why are you fingering him? Huh? That's funny. Why you because it's a little bit more innocent that I will fuck you in the ass great. right now I or love whatever. That. You know? it, it's you it's high school shit. It? Fingering is high school shit. You know what I mean? It's, I it's that innocent. Was well done. Well done. Bravo. <laughs> Say it again. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> That's something funny about uh, audiences with men and women. I was at the mothership recently and I was talking to Ooh, one of the little name drop saying, there. Mothership. Every every, com every every comic stream right there, man. Yeah, to, to go there. Yeah, no, it's, it's a great place. But uh, I was there with Rachel. She was there, yeah, and Matt geez. was. Uh, mm -hmm. But anyways, I was there, and I just was on the side talking to one of the servers, and we always get a gauge of like, how's the audience? And uh, she was like, oh, uh, she's like, 
they're not really laughing because a lot of them are on dates. And I was like, oh, what? And she's like, yeah, like when oh, guys. Oh, first dates. It's or like not first even first dates, dates, but apparently like, like God, when guys are paired with girls, like they don't want to laugh as hard because they don't want to like, like, that just was like the mentality of what they were talking about. Like, oh, like, it's a lot of girls, so the guys aren't laughing. And that pisses me. It was like a bummer thing to hear because I'm like, that's that like, bummer. women get such a bad rep and like, just in comedy in general, like, oh, women aren't funny or like they don't have a sense of humor. But hearing that, like she was just being real. And I was like, that's fair. Like I bet yeah. that's actually happening there. Yeah. And that sucks, but like, it is what it is. And then I think they were saying earlier a show was like mostly dudes are like, oh, it was such a good show. It was like a bunch of dudes. And it's like, that sucks. <laughs> like, I hate that. Again, it's You it's can only imagine, but... see, I like a bunch of dudes because they laugh. Yeah. Like at my jokes. It's very bro I think, stuff. When I see a bunch of For girls, For a woman, like, it's yeah. very different. Yeah. But it's interesting. I mean, I don't know. I, I When I first started doing comedy, um, I, I was... My wife is a comic, mm -hmm. and she was already doing it for a while. And I, it was right after the pandemic, and I wanted to go watch and support her at some of these mics. Mm -hmm. And I would go to these mics, which are like mainly like bro film filled rooms. Oh yeah, usually mics. Especially are some of the bucket lists where yeah. it's like one girl and like, like at twenty the lab, dudes at the improv or talking about dicks and <laughs> online dating and blowjobs yeah. and and no, Mike's watching are... her do that and deal with that i was like oh my god like this you're must a protective be so mother in the tough. back like don't say that around her yeah. <laughs> no so it is tough. yeah i mean when girl, coming up like it was me it was like the only girl in the room and you're just hearing dudes be like yeah i like fucked a flashlight with mayonnaise and you're yeah. like really really <laughs> you're like you're such a loser and it wasn't even a joke you're like <laughs> yeah. that's disgusting yeah. <laughs> but like going into detail and i'm like okay yep I'm, I'm sure you really did that you seem like someone that would so <laughs> <laughs> my wife did some funny joke at a, at a mic once where like all these dudes shorter coming is not 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 dwarves like me but just dudes of shorter stature and they were just up there and and, and they were like talking about how hard it is for them and 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 dating and girls are so mean and and, and just <laughs> whining and she just yeah. goes up there guys you guys are like whining about how short you are and blaming it is blaming it it's because you're short she's like it's not because you're short it's your personalities dude <laughs> yeah. she's like i'm married to this dude like what are you guys complaining about like <laughs> everyone's got like a foot on me you know yeah. these guys are like <laughs> yeah. it was hilarious but that is... watching her like she she's a great comic mm -hmm. so yeah. That's yeah. Good story. That, I feel it? for you. Thank yeah, you. she definitely got me into it. Uh huh. Yeah. She would help me out with some of my jokes yeah. in the beginning. And, and now then I got this. And then I was, <laughs> no, no. And now I, she just refuses to. Oh, really? I'll be like, Are hey, what do you think of this? She, she'll be like, I don't know. Why don't you try it? I'm like, <laughs> fuck. I'm like, well, That's girls okay. like it or not. Yeah, yeah. She's like, I don't know. Try it. That's the like, thing, though. Like, you could write something and think it's nothing and it does well or think something is so incredible and then you get up there and you're like, here it goes. And then they're just like, what? And you're like, oh, I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes if you really stand by something you believe in, you're like, come on, guys, that's hilarious. Like people will kind of get on your side where you're like, if you really believe in something. Like I have some jokes about the vaccine that like it's such a touchy subject. That but, like, is way it's touchy. It's touchy. But like I think like I have a joke where I'm like. I got Botox for the same reason I got the COVID vaccine, like not because I wanted to, but like everyone was doing it. Like it's probably gonna end badly. Yeah. Thank you. No one laughs. It's just silence. Yeah. But I, I'm, my, I would have laughed. So, I would have laughed my so, ass off. Like shit when it goes far and beyond. That's when I'm like, yes. They, yeah. Well, that's that's where I think. And then I'll just double down. Like I might explode right now, and then everyone just like <laughs> fucking scared. And I'm like, come on. Um, um, worst time on stage ever worst time on stage ever yes where you're like oh my god why did i even go that night like well i should have great i should have just went and got botox tonight instead <laughs> um you have to have the I one i do well i have so yeah. i have a few which is why i'm trying to, i gotta which pick you're, you're uh, like which is the better one well so one time i was fully blacked out uh puked on myself before it like i it just was so bad and um but the thing is that right there alone is amazing. Thank you so much. That's all, you're right there. You, you had me at hello right okay. there. Okay, thank you. Um, that, but but I don't. Okay. I was so out of my own body that okay. to me that's not my personal worst experience because it was an experience for everybody else. All right, okay. For me, I just was like, and some people thought it was a bit. They were like, oh my god, the drunk girl, like the, the drunk girl. She really nailed it. And I was like, Ooh. um, and the, that was wild. And then I went and hosted a show after. It was a whole night. But um, 
And I saw the photos after, and they're just puke all over my shirt. It was Jeez. so bad. I don't even know why my friends let me up there. But it, um, but again, I look back, and it's like it was so embarrassing. I had friends text me the next day, being like, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm fine." They're like, "No, are you, are you okay?" <laughs> I'm like, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of that it. That might have been one of your best shows ever. I, I mean, apparently, I did kill for a second there, but that, I think enough yes. people were like, her eyes are going silent. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of I, the time. Used to just go to appearances mm -hmm. and a buddy of mine. Well, that's when I met you, when you were just doing an appearance. What at, at, at Steve O's show? No. No, you were. Like, it was. It was like come see Wee Man at the Dark Horse in Boulder. And Shut up. That's when I. That's how I have the photo of you. Okay. That I posted, and then that's when you met. Like I messaged you after, and I was like, and I thought you wouldn't actually ever see it. Uh, okay. Do you but, bring merch when you do those? Not to those. You like I sang a song. It was like oh. "Fuck Me Softly" or something. It's the it's the it's the Tenacious D song. <laughs> yeah. It's, I'm gonna yeah. fuck her gently. Gently. Fuck gently. Her gently. That's it. I remember. Uh, yeah. And then I was like, okay. <laughs> and then that's yeah. Anyways. You sang the whole okay. song. Yeah, I knew. Whole like, song. Oh, I Some love talent, it. bro. <laughs> so, <laughs> Hoover and I would go on the road. This this is why I'm bringing it up. And he's like, okay, you want to do an appearance and we'll just go get drunk and hang out. We used to do this. And then I was like, dude, I'm kind of over that. I want to do something where I can kind of entertain the crowd. And I came up with that and I did that. Well, we were in Hawaii one time with my other buddy, Big Island, and this was when he was drinking too. And we used to, I've stopped wearing white t-shirts because mm -hmm. of this. Because we would go to bars and stuff and you know, you want to, you don't want to stain. Well, I was so wasted one time and my buddy, he's like, okay, stop giving him Jägermeister. He's done. He's, mm. he's a fucking animal already. That's brown puke. Jägermeister yeah. is aggressive. I spilled a whole one on me instead of drinking it. And I was supposed to now line You're up like, to, I'm do, way bad. Like, yeah, to do that. <laughs> and I'm wasted. And my buddy goes, he goes, dude, you drank yeah. I'm like, I didn't drink Jägermeister. <laughs> what are you talking about? And it was just like all over it. Bwah! You didn't have an extra shirt? <laughs> no, never did. I bet people loved it though. It was like probably part uh, of the experience. Like, he was, I was so a little drunk. Like, it probably made the shirt better. You were creepy? <laughs> I was a little bit creepy. Like <laughs> chicks are like, yeah, I want a picture. I'm like, oh yeah, you want like, a picture? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, okay, I don't want a picture. <laughs> <That's> so, <laughs> but I've been there where I was a shit show and yeah, I've yeah. had that like full. Yeah. Did you wake up the next day like, oops, or you're like, yeah. whatever? No, you're I like, woke, I gave him a show. <laughs> I woke up the next day like, oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> It's all part but of I'm experience. like, you know what? It happened. Is that on camera? Did it you already. Think? I already did it already. That's, see, oh, I like that mentality. Is there a video of that? There has to be. There's somewhere. gotta be, right? There's somewhere. But yeah, I woke up like, okay, I put, but I'm like, did it, done. Yeah, yeah. That could be part yeah. of our show. Okay, let's what, go. Like, what, Where if you we get on the on road, like that, that's that's a that's a cool thing. Yeah. You well, get up there and we're getting drunk. Oh, together and saying then. fuck no. me gently. Is that what you want? No, that, <laughs> that, that, that's <laughs> part of the show. That that's, had its time already. No, that's <laughs> hilarious. People love it. People love you for that. And they love you doing it. They did. It was an experience. They will. It was an experience. Yeah. Great. How are we looking? Oh, um, we are at an hour 14. Oh, oh wow. yeah. I think that was our next guest, by the way. Anyway, oh. So. oh, true. That's true, too. Okay. Pop out. And well, we'll we were do. having so much fun. So much fun. That, that, whoa, that felt like I know. 30 minutes. That was quick. That was way quick. That's what she said. Is it over? <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> Yeah, that's what they say about this guy. <laughs> wow. You I were was just going too. with the joke. I was okay. playing with like, the joke. Do y'all have herpes yet? <laughs> no. Nope. Just kidding. That was a callback. All right. No that's one's going to see that callback, though. They are. We're They're not going to know that that was a callback it, because it wasn't yes, rolling like in the beginning. Oh, he was he's like, He was? He was oh, that's rolling. why it was so long. Brilliant. All right. Thank you, everybody. Oh. We want to thank Tori Cole for being on thank our you. show. Yeah. Yes. Thanks for having this me. This has been a great time. It has been really yeah. fun. Tori, yeah. I will be looking you up next time I go to New York. Please, yeah. come She'll hang. be looking down at you. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was a short dude joke. That's I a good to. joke. I thought you could yeah. say it. It just took me a you while know, to, be, to mean, laugh about it. I wouldn't say yeah. that. You can say yeah, that. Yeah, I could say it. That's yeah. why I said it. Yeah. So, and you have to come, too. I'll come. I'll cruise out. Yeah. I want to watch him on stage. And you got to bring it. this on the road. Yeah, we're taking we'll do it out there. We're, we're taking this side right. show on the road. You keep saying yeah. you're doing the road. <laughs> All right. And you got to become a headliner. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank Thanks, you, everybody. Guys. Thank you, Tori. <laughs> Thank you, Tori. <laughs> Thanks.